Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Shadows of Undrentide. Last episode, we didn't actually make too much progress through the ruins, but we did happen to go into this cave over here filled with, uh, what are they called? Basilisks. Took a while to actually kill them without being turned into stone, and managed to save a sphinx, who, in a reward, basically allowed us access to a special device that allowed us to get a power stone. This power stone will allow us to cast certain spells and basically allow us to get through all this. Ba well, it, it'll help us out. We use it, er enemies around us will end up in pain and we'll also end up casting uh, stone skin at the same time. It'll be good for an emergency. Alright, just gotta bash this open. Deacon, don't bother with that. I'll just bash it down myself. We've got a crevice. Oh, jeez. Formians. That's unexpected. Formians and Sladi. Formians are basically ant tors. <laughs> kind of like, uh. Kind of like the stingers were scorpion tors. Formians are the same thing but ants. And they don't exactly have a human upper half, but they have a humanoid upper half. Kind of see there. Why am I having such trouble? get poisoned. No matter. Okay, sure. You're using scrolls now. Well, it is working out. We are slowly killing them. Alright, just one slotty left. Or slot. Slotty is pearl. There we go. Okay, they did a surprising amount of damage there. There's a coin. Alright. Looks like there's actually a path underground here, surprisingly. But first, we got uh, paths over here to look through. Let's see, what's in here? Too sloddy. <laughs> and a couple of ruins. Ah, no! Disease! That's the last thing I want. Clear out the last spot, and then we'll probably go and uh, head upstairs in order to sell all this stuff we happen to have. It's an of bless. A potion of bless. Why did that summoned wolf not actually help us? Deacon? Okay, at least we got that open. Oof, that's a lot of dead workers. That was where our clarity was. And it looks like that stair that area was actually blocked off. Copper ring, color spray. Ooh, a diamond. A rat jumps out of the rubble, grabs the diamond in its mouth, and runs away. Oi, get back here, you!
dead. Thank you, Deacon. There's a rat. Alright, let's go check that last room I see over in the corner, and then we'll head out of here and sell all this stuff we have and probably get... Okay, we resisted the disease ability damage. We resist again, and we'll be fine. Looks like we have a decent chance to survive it anyway. Alright. Around here. What's in this room? Another slot. Two slots. Oh, the dire wolf got damaged. Deacon, you really need to learn the right spells to cast and win. Well, it caused disease on the wolf, which I'm not concerned about. Really, Deacon? Honestly, I don't really care for giving scrolls to allies like this because, as you can see, they don't know when to use them! <sighs> Alright. They use them at such stupid times! Okay, there we go. The rest of the stuff we can sell. And in fact, I think it's best we go and do sell, indeed. Didn't mean to close that, so... I'm, I'll be right back while I make the run back to town. Okay, I'm back. I actually went and did all that off-screen. Uh... So, yeah, why not? Cut it all out. We sold everything. We're good. Got quite a bit of coin here. Uh, that way looks like it may happen to be the way in, but it looks like there's also this path down here. I mean, that's probably where the portal is. I think maybe we should take a look down here first, see what we can find. Formian Hive. Goody, we've got Formians, the end creatures. Well, I'm doing fairly okay here. Alright, so we've got Formians to kill. Ca what is this? A cave for ants? I believe that's the, uh, that's something of the quote. Well, let's see what these caves are like. Formi for more Formian workers. In you hear a disembodied voice in and inside your head. Invader, we shall destroy you. We are not weak. Okay then! The Formians actually speak in our heads! And they communicate via telepathy. Well, considering they're basically ants, I guess that does kind of make sense. Well, the workers do seem kind of weak. Well, let's get see what we can get out of them. So far, gems. Bull strength potion. This could be a very profitable side jaunt. And so far they've been dying fairly easily. This this could be good. Ah, damn, I was too far away. Next one. Alright, come in one by one, I guess. Oh yeah, those workers are really weak. Eight points of damage and it died? Wow. That's impressive in how pathetic they are. That didn't 
help, Deacon. Thank you for trying, but it didn't help. Man, they really do give out a lot of gems in here. Oh, now that I think about it, it does kind of make sense. I mean, Formians obviously are basic, are ant creatures, so they probably have a hive mind, which is probably... We sense you are not one of the creatures that invades us from above. Who are you? No, we are not. Didn't really need to summon that, but okay. It makes sense that they have so many gems, since they're mining out so much stone and the like. Anyway... Ah, that's it for seems you. like the ant seems like the Formians, or whoever is communicating with us, is now more curious than anything else. No, we are not those from above who were attacking you. You're attacking us first. Plus two bullets. Uh, sellable. Hmm. If they're getting more curious, perhaps they'll be willing to talk. Well, mentally, but you know what I mean. <laughs> That's it for you! Take that! <laughs> Dire Wolf, please, it's a thank you. Here comes another worker. Kill it, thank you. He said it makes sense that they have so many gems on them. Cat's race potion, nice. Since, after all, they're digging through the ground so much, of course they'd find plenty of gems. Oh, this is probably where we'd be able to find rubies for the Stone of Power. Yeah, that makes sense. You are not what we expected. You do not answer our queries. <laughs> well, no, of course not. We're not telepathic. How would we answer you? Perhaps if we could meet face to face? If you're willing to talk, we will talk. Just stop attacking us before we destroy your entire hive or colony or whatever you want to call this. Uh, although I don't think it's going to be too much of a big deal. I mean, look at all these or egg sacs or whatever the hell they are. You must have a lot of children on the way. I'm getting a lot of gems out of this. This will be good to sell. Here come more. Really, Deacon? Oh yeah, I love. I still love Great Cleave so very much. Even though now I'm starting to feel a bit bad. I mean, if these Formians are willing to talk, the fact we're killing so many of them. Oh boy. You know. Now that I think about it, it's surprising that gems aren't actually that valuable. Sure, they cost some coin, but other items do cost more coin. Gems don't really give us too much coin. Well, except the more valuable ones like rubies and diamonds, of course. Great, now we've got to deal with a whole bunch of warriors. 
Deacon, please send your dire wolf to help. The creature you summoned is not of assistance. Okay, that's the last of those guards. Please tell me you're willing to talk now. Join us, stranger. The hive will no longer harm you. Come and speak with us. Thank you! Okay. And it is a hive, not a colony. Okay then, good. Let us talk. Perhaps we can help each other. I mean, we're still going to take the stuff you have here. I don't think you have as much need of it. Some more here. We're getting closer. Obviously, it's in the center here that we need to go to. A couple more warriors. We've killed. We killed a lot of members of the hive here. Another potion of bless. Useful. Queen's chamber. Oh yeah, we're just about here. Formian my mark. The Formian chitters and points towards the unique looking Formian across the room, bowing obsequiously. The Formian Queen. Oh, shit. The Formian's juvenile queen looks at you, and her voice slides uneasily into your mind. Peaceful stranger, sad day you come to us, but still pleasant outcomes are possible. We offer you truce, and assist you against chaos creatures. We were more with greatest mind, the Hive Queen. Then come the Chaos Foes. They tear and crush and destroy us. They kill the greatest mind. Now we are queen, though we are not ready. So the Sladi up above came down here and were basically attacking the hive mind, and the former queen died, so a new queen took over. Greetings, my name is Liam. We are the hive. You are alone? Where is your hive? Strange creature with all your mind in one form. You are alien. Though your form does repulse us, still we would work with you. I guess they have little to no experience with, well, most other creatures. How do you speak to my mind? Very difficult it is to understand what you mean. This is how we speak. This is our way. Without thoughts, your words mean nothing to us. What do you offer? We do battle against chaos foes who invade the hive. You are strong. We see that now. Um, boss? Who you talks to? Okay, Deacon be qu quiet. Deacon. Okay, Deacon be quiet. But if you goes crazy, you let Deacon know first, okay? You do battle with Chaos Foes. We see this, too. We and you fight Chaos Foe together. Both be stronger. You agree to go out of Hive and fight Chaos Foe. We give you Song Crystal. With this, we come and fight Chaos Foe with you. How do I use this crystal? When Chaos Foe is strong against you, send thoughts to Crystal. Crystal will give Song and call to us, and we will be there. Very quickly can Hive be there for you. How often will you help me? 
Just one use has the Song of Crystal. Use when need is greatest, when chaos foes be strongest. We will be there. I agree, let's work together. Joyous is this day, when two strangers join together to destroy chaos foes. Here is Crystal. When our hive you leave, we repair walls. You not able to return. None return. Long will this day be remembered in our mind. Go make war for peace, hive friend. As you wish. Formian Crystal. This crystal will summon Formian warriors to assist you in battling the Sladi. It can only be used once. Well, let's recover and rest to recover... Well, we don't really need to recover much health, but Deacon's spells. We'll recover Deacon's spells. This will allow us to go back up. It appears this rock face could be ascended into the ruins above, though not without some risk of injury from falling. Climb it? We did fine. Oh, hello, oh, Minigons! Well. Have a look at this. What are we doing here? And now we're being attacked. Please wear off stun. I would very much like the stun to wear off. They seem to be having trouble causing damage, folks, but there we go. Please kill the Minigons. This is very unexpected. Okay, now the other one. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. Oh, well, there's a few sarcophagi we can loot here. Ow. Sarcophagi are all trapped. Er, locked. Sure, why not? Bash him open, let's loot this room. Ooh, composite longbow. Plus two. That's actually better than the plus one longbow. We're, we're keeping that. Sapphire, potion of heal. Ooh. Another sapphire. The thing with composite longbows... Composite longbows have an ability called mighty. Wait, there's more? Oh, right, the trap. Composite longbows have an ability called Mighty. What that basically means is, normally when you use a bow, you add your uh, dexterity a bit, your dexterity to uh, your attacks with it. Composite allows you to add your strength to it. Up to, in this case, up to plus four. And I, well, our dexterity is only so low because we're stunned. Once that goes away, we should be fine. So, that actually helps out a lot. Especially for someone like me. A fighter. Greater gloves of spellcraft. And some gold pieces. Plus a large shield, plus two, which... There's a ruby! Jeez, it took long enough. I think about it. Tower shield plus one. Large shield plus two. I think we can use the large shield plus two and we'll be fine. It weighs less. And has less penalties, but we'll have the exactly the same armor class. So we're good. Alright. I am going to once again run outside and sell all the stuff we have. And I'll do it off stream. Next episode then I'll come back and next episode we'll go into the final room but that'll be in the next episode so until then I'm Chester 44 that is Liam Johnson and Deacon this has been a let's play of Shadows of Undrin Tide and I shall see you all next time